Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am memory keeping the week of May 23rd through the 29th. I have a kit that I've been waiting to use for like a year. <laughs> I just bought it a couple of months ago, but I knew that when it came time for this one to come back around, I was going to use it. This is Queen Bee by Lemon and Honey Studio. It's so beautiful. I love the color combo and the bold like designs. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. There's the bottom washi, date covers. She now has numbers in her kits, which I love. And then we've got some functional things here, some scripts, and then a bunch of boxes, which I love. I also added on the glitter headers. I don't always do this, but with a kit like this where the colors are very specific, I wanted to go ahead and have these. So I grabbed those as well. I think we're ready to get started, so let's do it. I'm gonna begin with the bottom washi. It's in two strips that are different sizes. So I'm laying down the um, smaller one first, and then on this left side, I'm just gonna trim off because in her kits, they come in full strips because some people like to go all the way across on the left side, but I like to keep my sidebar separate. So I'm trimming that off and then doing the same thing on the other side, but just not trimming, obviously. And then I am just cutting off a little bit because it is um, overlapping the page, but totally works. And that was easy to fix. I think it's the printing on the paper. It's not the kits. It's the um, like the spacing on the paper. So just kind of adjusting a little bit there, but everything worked out just fine. And then I'm pulling the numbers from the kit, which I love that she includes numbers. I've mentioned this a million times, but it's just so convenient. And I can also just keep those numbers to use with other kits later. So it's just nice. And then I'm putting in the glitter headers. I'm not color blocking this week, but I did just want to bring a little bit of interest up there because the date covers are all the same design. So just to kind of mix it up and bring in some more color up there, just pulling in the glitter headers. I did just go in the order of the glitter headers, so no rhyme or reason to that. And then I popped in the Hello Weekend banner, and then I'm putting in the date covers, which they're a good size. They're nice and thick, so they go like fill the space up there, which I really like. Shorter glitter header or shorter date covers always kind of give me a little bit of trouble because I don't know what to do with that extra space, but these are great. Then going to the sidebar, I'm adding in a couple of full boxes and then just adding in some across the whole spread because I wanted to use as many as possible. I think I used almost all of them. They're just so pretty and so I just, I'm grabbing those putting them in. <laughs> this is where I realized I mix up, mixed up Tuesday and Wednesday, but that is a quick fix. So I just wanted to make sure that none of the full boxes were like the same as the bottom washi. So just trying to keep the black ones and the bright yellow ones away from the bottom washi. But this one, I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So it went on Thursday. And I think it looks fine because it's kind of a solid background, so it looks good. Then going back to the sidebar, I'm just finishing it up real quick. So I grabbed a glitter header and the This Week sticker and layered those and then put in a half box for my favorite moment of the week. I will come back and finish that up later. And then I'm putting in my um, videos for the week. So I'm just popping those in on Monday, Tuesday. This is a difference. Wednesday and Friday. I had a little bit of extra time this week since school was out, so I did an extra video and I received a few planners, so I did a review on Tuesday. Then going back to the day by day, let's go to Monday and I'm putting in a label here. We had two work from home days on Monday and Tuesday. Luckily, I got ahead on my work from home work and so I was able to have pretty much the whole day to do what I wanted to do, but I popped in a few little munchkins here from Once More With Love to mark in that. We just had to finish some modules for like professional development. So got those done really quickly, like in the early morning. I was still getting up really early. I'm an early riser anyway, so throughout the whole summer I get up at like 6.30, 6, 
somewhere between then. And then I popped in this cute little picture of my nephew at his pre-K graduation, so cute. And just put in a little cute sticker from Once More With Love. I love that sticker. The whole sheet is so cute. And just put in there that that was his pre-K graduation. And then I put in a full box beneath that. And then I started to plan a big project that I worked on for pretty much the rest of the week. I had been planning basically since December or January to redo my bedroom design. And so I started to buy supplies on this Monday, took several trips to Lowe's this week, and I got paint and all sorts of stuff. I've been gathering artwork and all different stuff for months. So I was ready to do it, but as you will see, I kind of, uh, I hit it a little too hard, <laughs> but it is done and it's beautiful and I love it so much. Um, this also was a day where it actually rained and this was noteworthy because we're in a drought right now and rain days don't come very often. So definitely wanted to mark that. Used a little spring sticker with a little bee and some flowers. You can't really see it here, but if you looked up close, you would see that. And then on Tuesday, I have my work from home sticker up there at the top. And I had a treat yourself day. <laughs> it was just an amazing day. I scheduled uh, three treatments at a spa and I had a wonderful massage. The lady was so kind and like she talked to me the whole time, which usually I don't like, but she was just so nice and was telling me different stuff about my body and asking me questions and... It was just great. And then I had a facial and a pedicure, which I have a picture of here. I didn't really have anything else to take a picture of, so I get a weird picture of my feet. Um, this was also the day of the school shooting in Uvalde, which is in South Texas. And it's not anywhere close to me, but as a teacher and a Texan, like, it, obviously it, um, like, touched my heart. And so I wanted to put that in there to remember later when I look back at these spreads. Um, on Wednesday... I got started on my project. This was so, so much. I just kind of forgot, because I hadn't painted in like three or four years, like how much energy it takes and how much like time. Just so, so much time. So I got all of the painting done this, well, most of the painting done this day, but um, yeah, it was, it was a big project. I'm taking a little detour right now back to Tuesday to just kind of readjust things and I wanted to include like more about the school shooting because it was really on my mind all week. I was probably consuming way too much media but I wanted to remember that in my memory planner. So I just kind of shifted things around a bit. I included a tweet that really spoke to me and I just wanted to give it more space because it was taking up a lot of space in my life during this week. On Thursday, I had a dermatologist appointment and um, she told me that I might be B12 deficient, which she came back later after I had blood work and stuff. But um, I'm just on like the lower end of normal. So I'm taking a supplement now, but who knows what. My skin has always been an issue as a very pale person, but hopefully things kind of level out in the future. Okay, so this was when I hit a wall and I have a picture here. I do have a vlog from this week up on my channel if you want to go and watch this whole process. It was kind of a mess at points, but it did get finished eventually. But I was so incredibly sore. I think because I just didn't take any breaks when I was painting and it was physically taxing. So Friday was basically just like a lay on the couch day. Um, I was just so incredibly tired, but you gotta give your body what it needs. So I did that. Um, so I'm marking in here rest day and that I needed it badly. <laughs> I also have a picture here that I wanted to remember um, of Beto O'Rourke. I've been following his career and path this whole time like for years and years and I've met him a couple of times and I just wanted to remember that moment because it was important and I just I put it in here because I needed it um on Saturday here I have a 
just a little picture of my like my bed and above my bed like my accent wall so you can kind of see it a little bit here but I was almost finished with my redesign thank god <laughs> is my notes um it was just I was pushing myself probably too much but that's like my personality when it comes to projects and things something I need to work on for sure <laughs> Underneath that on Saturday, I put in a full box just to fill some space and to use some more of the full boxes. And that evening, I gathered up enough energy to make myself some really, really good burgers. I actually recreated the recipe. It was like a Blue Apron meal, and I recreated it like a couple weeks later. It's so good. Like so many like grilled onions. It was so delicious. And I did a bunch of editing this day too because... I kind of put all my channel stuff on the back burner while I was working on my big project. And I also did some cleaning this day because that was definitely needed. Just kind of readjusting some stickers there because I found that sheet from Box and Pip and I wanted to be sure to use them because they're just cute little um, home improvement supplies. <laughs> So here's finishing up Saturday here, and I just kind of filled in that space with a quarter box. This day felt like super productive after the day before, where I just kind of like crashed and burned, <laughs> but I just needed a little bit of time to get some energy back, and then I could come back and get at it. On Sunday, I uh, just wanted to again remember some of the things that were happening this week some of the like conversations and things so I put in a quote or a tweet from Amanda Gorman who I follow on Twitter she's great and um, I also put in a note here that I was trying the EC compact vertical which spoiler alert did not work out for me I turned it into a journal though and it's kind of working well as a journal so I'm gonna keep that up but as a planner it just did not work for me but I see people use it all the time and it's super cute so you know to each their own I guess <laughs> I um, also started watching Yellow Jackets which is quickly become one of my favorite shows I just love it and I can't wait for season two it's just awesome um, and then I have a tweet down here at the bottom that says Trader Joe's? You mean the peanut butter cup store? I'm gonna miss my sister like having access to Trader Joe's because now I don't have like a contact. I guess I gotta go to Santa Fe in New Mexico. That's the closest one. It's about four hours away so I gotta find a closer Trader Joe's or, or go to Santa Fe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm finishing up this spread here. In my sidebar I put my first week of summer break was surely productive but I have to pace myself. And then my um, favorite moment here in the box is going to be being done. And I found some yellow icons from Scribble Prince Co. that I'm going to include at the top here. I found these dots in the kit, which I know were supposed to be for like check boxes or whatever. But I just decided to use them as decoration up here at the very top of the spread, like in the sidebar section. And I just was going through my... Um, samplers and stuff and I found this it's a little bit bright but I think it works okay because some of the full boxes have some really bright yellow but it is a very like very bright yellow but I'm just kind of situating things up there I think it looks really cute and then just trimming off the excess and then finishing up my little favorite moments box I am glad that project is done but it was so much work <laughs> Here is the finished spread and I love this. I'm so glad I got to use this kit. It's beautiful and this turned out so cute. This is really fun. There were a lot of things this week that were downs and a lot of ups too. So I'm grateful for both. Um, yeah, it was an interesting week. I hope that you enjoyed this memory plan with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload, and I will see you next time. Bye!